Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Um, there is a question that was written, um, question 3.3. Of the question paper that was written in July 2020 it was actually supposed to be written in April and this question focused on the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor and I think for the five marks that it was given I saw it uh, worthy enough to just show you how you could have approached this question it says determine the lowest common multiple LCM and the highest common factor HCF of the following algebraic terms you by using prime factors so to me uh i think these five marks were for grabs you can actually get the, all these marks without much of a problem now the question is how do you approach this so it uses um the key word there is using prime factors now when you're using prime factors let's focus on the numbers here on the numbers i have my nine can use maybe that but I have my 9 and then I have my 6 and then I have my 42 let's just focus on the numbers so now if I can find the prime factors of 9 and you know how I find the prime factors of 9 the thing that I need to do is to have my line like that to say the number that goes into 9 the first one is 3 3 into 9 is 3 the number that goes into 3 is 3, 3 into 3 is 1. So if I can write the prime factors of 9, it is 3 times 3, which is um, 3 squared. Okay, so if I put it in the power 3 times 3, 3 squared, I do the same thing with my 6. My 6, the first number that goes into 6 is 2 to give me a 3 and 3 to give me a 1 so for me to get a 6 it is 2 times 3 and if I put it in power form it's 2 to the power 1 times 3 to the power of 1 I do the same thing here with 42 you start with 2 2 into 42 is 21 the next one is 3 3 into 21 is 7 uh, the next one is 7 7 and 7 is a 1 so for me to get a 21 I need to have uh, is 2 times 3 times 7 again in power form it's 2 to the power 1 3 to the power 1 7 to the power 1 this is the main thing that you need to apply both your lowest common multiple as well as your highest common factor where uh, whereas numbers are concerned so now let us start by looking at the lowest common multiple the LCM now, when you're looking at the LCM, what you're going to consider from these numbers, you're going to consider um, the power, the, the highest power. For example, I've got 3 squared in the first one. Then I've got 2 to the power 1 times 3 to the power 1. Then I've got 2 to the power 1 times 3 to the power 1 times 7 to the power 1. So now, when I do the lowest common multiple I look at each and every number from the smallest so you can see I've got a 2 there so I'll take my 2 and I check what is the highest power I have got power of 1 so this is the highest power I have the next number that I'm checking is my 3 so I've got a 3 there uh, if I can use a different one I've got a 3 there I've got a 3 there I've got a 3 now I ask myself which one is the highest power you take the one which is a 2 there because it is the highest power. So you are going to say times 3 to the power of 2. You do the same. Next thing is the 
uh, next number and the next number that we have is a 7 and it is simple 7 to the power of 1 so you're going to say times 7 to the power of 1 so that is what you will be having in terms of the numbers so now you go for the variables or the unknowns you can use i'm going to use the one already on the question that is given there so what i'm going to check is i also check uh with start with my r you see i've got r to the power four and then i come here r to the power of three and then i come here r to the power of two what is the highest power here it is r to the power of four so i'm going to write it as r to the power of four i do the same thing with my x is x squared x3 x5 the highest power is x to the power of five so times x to the power of five the next thing again i do is my y is y3 y2 and y7 so you can see that it is y to the power of seven so in principle this is my lcm i just need to simplify the numbers part and multiply 2 to the power of 1 which is 2 times 3 to the power of 2 times 7 and I get 126 so it will be the final answer will be 126 r to the power of 4 x to the power of 5 and y to the power of 7 so that is my LCM let us go to the highest common factor which is the HCF. Now, the highest common factor work in the other way around. You are still going to use your prime factors here. So you are still using your prime factors. Now, in the prime factors, if I can write them also, in the prime factors, I have three squared. I have two to the power one times three to the power one. And then I have 2 to the power 1 times 3 to the power 1 times 7 to the power 1. Now with the prime factor, with the highest common factor, what is interesting or what is important is you look at the number that is repeating in all the three numbers. So for example, let's start with the smallest number 2. You can see that I don't have 2 in the first one. I have got only 2 here and here. So 2 is totally out. I do the next one is 3. So with 3, I have got 3 there, I have 3 in the second one, and I have 3 in the third one. So I have my 3 appearing in all the 3 and I must look for the smallest power. And the smallest power is 3 to the power of 1. Now if I check with 7, 7 only appears once, so even 7 is out. So as far as numbers are concerned, 3 to the power of 1 is the highest common factor. I then go to my variables, my R. I also look if R appears in all the four of them. I've got R to the power of 4, R to the power of 3, and R to the power of 2. Yes, so we have R in all the three. Then I take the smallest power, which is R to the power of 2. So here I will have times R to the power of 2. I do the same thing with my X. Smallest power, I've got X, X, X appearing. And the smallest power, there is a 3, there is a 3, there is a 5. So there is a 2 actually. There is a 3, there is a 5. So I take x to the power of 2. So it will be times x to the power of 2. I do the last one, which is my y. It's y to the power of 3, y to the power of 2, and y to the power of 7. As you can see, that is my smallest power as y to the power of 2. So the answer, therefore, it becomes here 3r squared x squared y squared so now you can therefore conclude and finalize and say lcm is equal to 126 r to the power of 4 x to the power of 5 y to the power of 7 and then you say hcf is equal to 3 r squared x squared and y squared so this becomes the final answer to this particular question as you can see that's how you're supposed to solve it i hope this was of benefit to you 
Thank you. I hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you. And as I said, if you benefited from the video, you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below. And if you want to be notified of these videos, you can always uh, subscribe to our channel. Now, if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics, if you are studying for mathematics N1, N2 or N3 and you want the test book as well as the videos, we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics N1, N2, N3 as well as the accompanying videos. We also have videos of the previous question papers, the latest papers that were written in video form. These question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams. We also have PDF version of the previous question papers that were, that were written since 2014 until now. And if you want them, you can check all the information from our website. And trust me, these will become very handy to you. Uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try. Thank you.